So let's bring in Congressman Adam Schiff, who is chairman of the House Intelligence Committee and was one of the Democratic impeachment managers in Donald Trump's first impeachment trial. Congressman, thanks for joining us. So w when you were a manager in President Trump's first impeachment trial, you pushed really hard for witnesses. Why haven't the current managers pushed for witnesses like Kevin McCarthy to come forward and help establish a timeline of what the president si said and did and what he didn't say and didn't do during the riot? Well, each case is different. Uh, what we really wanted in the last trial was to be able to present the case as we thought best. Uh, and we thought it was best to bring in witnesses. I have every confidence that uh, Jamie will make the right decision about this trial. They've already proven the president's guilt overwhelmingly, all of his lies and actions leading up to that day, his incitement on that day, his failure to come to the vice president's rescue on that day. Uh, and I think among the most powerful evidence of that is what he said at 6 p.m. that day when he said, these are the things and events that happen essentially when you strip away a landslide victory. This is what happened, the, the president is communicating, when you don't follow my lies. Uh, and so I think they've overwhelmingly presented the case, uh, and it may be the conclusion of House managers that they don't need to go beyond that and bring in live witnesses. Uh, you know, one final point on Kevin McCarthy is you would then be relying on Kevin McCarthy to tell the truth when he made that pilgrimage to Mar-a-Lago and essentially tied the future of his leadership to Donald Trump. And I'm not sure that's something you want to rely on. As of right now, it seems highly likely that you will not get enough Republicans to vote to convict. Assuming that that is the case, what's going to happen next? Is, is this just over or are you going to push for some sort of bipartisan censure vote in both houses of Congress? Well, I think the managers, and I would include myself uh, in this line of thinking, are not going beyond the end of the trial. Right now, the focus is on trying to persuade senators to do the right thing. Uh, now, they may or may not. Uh, and there's been a lot of talk about how if this was a secret ballot, uh, the conviction would be overwhelming. If that's true, and I think it is, then what this is really about right now is political courage. Do the Republican senators have the courage to follow the evidence, to follow their oath, or are they going to be too worried about uh, angering their base? Because if they do follow the evidence, the evidence is overwhelmingly clear that the president incited that violence, was pleased by it, was willing to do anything to stop the counting of those uh, electors, and we just can't have someone like that running for office again. As of right now, though, it does not look like you're going to get enough Republican votes to convict. So assuming that continues to be the case, what will have what will this all have been for? What will have been accomplished by putting on a trial when the result seems to have been preordained? Well, I think it's important to do what is what is necessary, what can be done uh, to hold this president to account, to protect the country going forward. Uh, so in the House, we did our constitutional duty. This president should be removed when he was in office and should be disqualified now that he's out of office. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, essentially do the senator's work for them. But it is also important to show the American people what a danger this president presents. The House managers have done that overwhelmingly. So regardless of what the senators ultimately do, this country is better informed about how this president lied to America, uh, how if he is allowed to run again or runs again, he will again lie to America, again try to cheat, uh, and potentially incite violence again. And no American should want us to go down that road. Thank you, Adam Schiff, Congressman, Democratic Congressman. Thank you very much for joining us on, as we've been saying, a historic day for American politics. Thank you again. And I want to remind everybody, keep it right here on ABC News for live coverage of the impeachment trial led by our chief anchor, George Stephanopoulos, beginning later this morning with closing arguments. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.